Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We are somewhere here in South Carolina. We are literally like in the heart of Hillbilly Nation as you can probably see. We're in a pretty interesting spot and the reason why we're here is because I bought a car uh, a few months ago and it is now with us and we are having some issues but I don't even know where to start. Let's let's do it like this. Maybe you can guess what the car is before we show you. I'm gonna give you some hints and maybe well we'll see. We'll see how good you guys are. The first hint is that it's probably the most requested car that I should buy on my channel. Literally every video i do there's at least one of you guys in the comments saying i should buy this car and yeah i finally did it it's also a big dream car of me so it was kind of cool for me as well to get it it is manual transmission four doors german engineering rear wheel drive so that's already a pretty good mix but the tippity top the nicest part of it it's a tail cylinder and by now i think you should probably already know what kind of car it is and it's right here <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, we're having some smaller issues with it. Well, if you come with me really quick, this is the holy grail of BMW, of German engineering kind of, or like the most painful car to own, whatever you want. Uh, it's a six-speed manual transmission, BMW M5 E60 with obviously the glorious V10 inside. Uh, it's facelift, so it's actually pretty nice. And I bought it in Los Angeles a few months ago. And as you can see, the car is in terrible shape. So before we do anything to it, obviously we kind of have to fix it up. We're gonna check it out later in the workshop and we're gonna see what the car needs. Yeah, we're here at European Road and Racing in South Carolina. And my friend Sean, he already checked the car a little bit for us and he thinks we're gonna need a new engine. But we're gonna find it out today. We're gonna take the engine out. We're gonna see how the oil is and everything. And then we're gonna see what the car needs. What we do already know is the car needs a new front bumper because yeah, this car has seen some shit. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Glide this as well. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, this has also seen some better days, I guess. The sand inside, I don't really know what happened there. Also, it's been sitting for quite some while. No so oil. No oil. Obviously, we have some spider webs here. It honestly, it looks like it's a Scheunen font. Yeah. Like it's a Barn Find M5. This is obviously officially my Barn Find M5 E60. And our mission for the next days here in South Carolina is to make this M5 glorious again and see how it performs. Mani already put his nice stick on there. <laughs> Before we did anything, so thanks, Marty. Yeah, rear bumper is also. It's got the Hawaii plates, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know. Let's start by cleaning it, I guess, because Sean said the underside looks like the car has been through the Sahara as well. Yeah, maybe we clean the engine bay, the outside and underneath. Yeah. And then we're gonna push it inside. We're gonna show you the car properly, and then we're gonna start this mission. I am so excited. I've always wanted to have an M5 V10. Not in this condition, but we're gonna get it there. I'm very, very motivated. And this car, once it's running, it's gonna be the best sounding car ever. Trust me. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we also have Gabriel with us as a support, our favorite M5 mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> Mani is already motivated on the forklift. Yes, sir. Yeah, Mani, let's get it going. Let's yeah. get the car to the washing place and then gonna see how that goes, I guess. I've always wanted to have an M5, well, obviously in a better condition, but like I said, we're gonna hopefully make it better now. Oh my god. It's gonna be pretty interesting, I guess. Yeah, the car is now somewhat clean uh, from the other side. I don't know why, but there was just so much fucking sand and oil. Oil coming up from here and so much sand why? coming up from the rear of this car. But from the other side, this car actually looks really, really nice. Yeah. Look at this, like brand new. Oh, that's insane. It's, it's everything brand new. <laughs> but yeah, this car is like, what, 2000, 2006, I yeah, think. Definitely. So nearly 20 years old and it still looks, <laughs> obviously it's if you clean it a little bit, but the condition, no, except if we like ignore all the sand in the front, the car is in a perfect condition from here. I mean, obviously the rear bumper is gonna need some love. Oh yeah, and this. the most important part, we have a nice little Eisenmann exhaust on here. So this thing is gonna fucking sound amazing, I hope. By the way, this is the man, the myth, the legend, Sean, uh, who did like the previous job of looking at this car. What do you say? It's dirty. It's dirty? It's Not dirty. anymore. Now well, it's a clean piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to put some effort in to make this brand new again, or like at least somewhat brand new. Sean already hinted that we might need a new engine. Uh, we're gonna find it out and pull out the engine. 
take the complete front off now uh, once everything's dried up and then we're gonna inspect damage a bit further but first things first eating eating oh yeah most <laughs> yeah, important let's, uh, dry it out and, and eat something and in the meantime yeah and... but it's so clean from the underside though like in austria this would be rusty as fuck yeah. it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to drop the structural pan under here and clean it yeah get it a little bit more while it's up here you know yeah honestly so far i'm pretty surprised by the condition of this car it doesn't seem so bad obviously if we need a new engine that's gonna suck but yeah we're in america land of the free and parts here are actually pretty cheap com compared to Europe so oi, 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 oi. so that's yeah but like I said we're gonna find it out today obviously what I already know we need is a new oil cooler we need new front and rear bumper and probably some structural parts as well so that's gonna set me back a bit by the way I bought this car for 21,000 US dollars oi, oi, oi. At this point, I was so happy because I finally found my M5 V10 that I've been looking for it for such a long time. And not even that, it seemed to be in a way better condition than expected, at least from the underside. No rust, nothing. We went to get some food to celebrate this day and we left the car on a forklift, which turned out to be the worst mistake we've ever made. I can't believe it. We went to get some food we let the M5 dry and we come back and Sucks. Oh my god. That was so stupid. Why the f we not put it on the ground? Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, we'll just flip it back over. <laughs> oh, yeah, f I bet it's dry now. Uh, at least that, yeah. Well, if we need to all open, can uh... <laughs> Well, that makes things a lot uh, harder, I guess. That's it. That's it. This one will keep control. Oh, wow. We love this so. It's even more. You have this completely against the line. Wieso? 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 Chemie der Föhn geschüttelt. Und dann das zum drüber draht wird. Das ist nicht so. I I can't f***ing believe it. My mirror. Oof. Oh, that one's fine? Yeah, that one's fine. Yeah. This so this, the hydraulic failed? Yeah. Oh my god. I think if we, if the lift is a little bit more backwards, not straight, yeah. then it would go in the back and not in the front. I can't believe it. Well, this is... I don't even know what to say we did not expect that to happen we left it on the lift so everything can dry off like on the truck and it seems like one of the hydraulics is leaking so it just gradually slid down and then the car just fell off um yeah we came back found the car like this we're gonna tipple it over now we're gonna have to see how we do that that sucks my car might actually be totaled now bro i was so happy that is that is insane that is insane i was so happy to have finally like you know all, all we needed to do was fix a few parts and I had an M5 and now I don't even know what to say. Well, yeah, also, I just wanted to make this really clear. It's nobody's fault. I don't blame anybody. You know, things can happen. Let's just hope it's not too bad. If the roof is dented in, this car is going to be a total loss, I guess. We can only hope that the grass was soft enough to, like, kind of catch the car and impact. What do you think? Prediction? Total loss or? Okay. I, I would repair it and drive it like, like it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you're different. <laughs> Turn around and see what's what's damaged. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe. Mm. Mm. Scheiße, huh?
Ah, it's there is he. Oh, scheiße. There is bread leaving here. Ah, get fitten. Ah, it's fine. Die Seiten ist komplett hinüber. Da ist der Kohlflügel, die Türe, die hintere, alles Spiegel. Das ist halt der Ultraschass. Da hinten auch. Well, at least all the sand is kind of falling out the car now. Oh my f***ing god. I didn't even know what to say. <laughs> this is insane. I have like burning 25 or 21 thousand dollars just for nothing. Yeah. That is... That's probably one of the worst things that's happened to me. Honestly, like car-wise. No insurance, obviously, nothing. <laughs> well, we are still not very sure what to do in this situation. Body guy is coming tomorrow to look at the car. Carl, uh, Troy, the dad of Sean, he's gonna give me his uh, E60, which has been parked here. So we can use the panels of this car and hopefully somewhat repair my M5 and bring it back. Oh, that is ridiculous. I can't believe this happened. I don't even know what to say. I still am speechless, but this is at least now our starting point. Uh, obviously, it's gonna be way more f work than intended, which sucks, but yeah, also it's gonna cost like way more money than intended, which is also gonna suck, but it is what it is. Like I said, things happen. I think honestly, it was just our fault for leaving the car up on the lift. Yeah, I don't know, stupid. Interior looks shit now because everything just flew around. We already had the new cooler inside. I bought this from Sean. Um, like I said, we're gonna have to wait. Uh, to tonight in the evening, a body shop guy is coming. He's gonna take a look at everything. And he's gonna tell us how much and uh, how much work it is to fix it and how much it's gonna cost. And then we're gonna see. If he says it's repairable, we're gonna take the parts M5 that uh, Carl is gonna give us, hopefully. Thanks, by the way, <laughs> for that. And we're gonna swap out all the parts that are damaged and hopefully we can repair it. Um, if he says it's not fixable, I really honestly have no idea what to do because I spent, like I said, $21,000 on that and I have no insurance so nothing's gonna cover that well yeah all we can do now is wait see what the body shop guy says and then we're gonna find out what happens fazit was haben wir für fazit oh der urlaub im minutes so geil gell